JoJo Science Show! Hello! Welcome to JoJo Science Show! This video is going to be the coolest thing you've seen all day. Today, we're going to be freezing bubbles. You can try this if it's cold where you live, like Antarctica. Nah, just kidding. You can try it in a place like Alaska or Canada. This video contains two things that kids love, frozen and bubbles. Yep, that's right, frozen bubbles. So all the kids watching this video are gonna be like, yay! <laughs> Observing bubbles as they freeze is very fascinating. In this video, we will observe what happens to soap bubbles when they freeze in really cool temperatures. It's really cold here. Why didn't Elsa go to the doctor when she was sick? The cold never bothered her anyway. <laughs> but why does freezing happen anyway? Well, freezing happens because of something called thermal energy. When it's cold, water molecules start moving slowly. And they get lazy like you do in the winter. As it loses its energy, it starts to turn into a solid and grows crystals. There are two things that you can directly observe during crystal growth. The first thing is nucleation. But what is nucleation? What you talking about, Jojo? Nucleation? Just like when a plant grows from a seed, a nucleation site is like a seed for crystals to grow around. Easy, right? A nucleation site can be a solid particle or when molecules start to arrange in a repeating pattern and it starts growing a crystal. Nucleation sites are like a trigger that causes rapid crystal growth. It's like the other molecules are just waiting for someone else to start. And they were all like, I just didn't want to be the first one. Why do you want to start before me? No, you start. Uh, or you, I don't care. Lunch is not me. Hey, I don't want to go first. <laughs> Nucleation sites are like a trigger that causes rapid crystal growth. It's like a domino effect. When one domino falls, the rest follow. Or, once one molecule freezes, the rest are sure to follow. So basically, nucleation is like a seed and a trigger. Look, you made Einstein happy. <laughs> we just learned something. It's time for a Eureka celebration. So nucleation is like starting a chain reaction. Check out my sister's awesome chain reaction here. Do you know where you've seen nucleation before? Cue the Diet Coke and Mentos reaction. That happens because of nucleation sites on the Mentos, which triggers the release of the carbon dioxide gas from the soda. Whoa. The next thing we can directly observe from frozen bubbles is fractals. If you've ever heard the song Let It Go, who hasn't? You've heard of fractals before. Elsa sings about frozen fractals, which is a reference to snowflakes, which have repeating patterns. Fractals are shapes with an infinite perimeter. The perimeter of a shape is the length of the outline of it, like a square. The outside of the square is its perimeter, but a fractal has an infinite perimeter. Is such a thing even possible? Yes, it is. Mathematical fractals are never-ending repeating patterns. If you zoom in to a fractal, then you could see a smaller version of the big fractal. And if you zoom into that, you could see a smaller version of the smaller version, and a smaller version of that version, and a smaller version of that version, and a smaller version of that version. Okay, okay, Jojo, this could go on forever. It does. And a smaller version of that version. And a smaller version of that one, and a smaller version of that one, and a smaller version of that one. <laughs> And you notice that the perimeter of the object keeps increasing the farther you zoom in. 
and it just goes on forever, ever, ever, ever. Don't let fractals keep you up at night thinking about them. Oh, I can't sleep. I keep thinking about fractals. This is a very famous crystal called a Coke crystal. If you look at every iteration, you'll see that the perimeter increases. The perimeter goes on forever, but the area will not exceed a certain limit. If you look closely, you'll see a long crystal grow in the middle. The same shape of crystal is repeated in a smaller pattern over and over again, out from the side of the first big crystal. You'll notice that as the crystals form, there are some imperfections in the repeating pattern. This is because fractals in nature are never true mathematical fractals. But it's a good way to describe what is happening as the crystals form. Cool, right? Fractals in nature can only go a few levels. Then it becomes too small to continue. Fractals that go on forever are only true in mathematics. Did you know that there are many other types of fractals in nature? Trees, riverbeds, lightning, and nautilus shells. Did you know that fractals and nucleation are important when rocks form from lava? True mathematical fractals will always have an infinite perimeter. A three-dimensional fractal, like this cube, can also have an infinite area. This is called a Menger sponge, and thanks to its large surface area, it can be used in cell phone antennas. You just learned about frozen bubbles, fractals, and nucleation and crystal growth. Thanks for watching JoJo's Science Show. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to my channel so you can become a kid scientist too. And ring the bell so you'll receive notifications whenever I post a new fun video. And remember kids, science is fun! The first is nucleation. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, tell me a frozen joke. What is Anna and Alice's favorite type of pizza? Frozen. <laughs> Why shouldn't you send a snowman a valentine? Because his heart will melt. <laughs>